one of the last premiere events to have this card pool. Andy, Andy herself. Oh is yeah, retired. yeah. She's, she's, go uh, she's gone on the limb. Yeah, that's true. And that's a huge deal. And hey, we see his opening hand there. We see every card one by one. And he has the Temujin. He has the Siphon. He has the Medium. He has the Amakua. That's a hand. This is a wonderful hand. Uh, that's the such Femme, a hand. the Femme, kind of redundant, of course. But I mean, that's uh, really asking for a lot here. Things can go back yeah, fast. Dean's and he straight just drew himself. Josh drew a Jeeves. That's right. again not a thing you can duck with. And I believe it's double jacks and two agendas. Uh, this, is, this, this is a poor hand. Josh on is Josh's gonna have end. to play this perfectly if he is gonna be able to hold on. He actually might just have to slam the Jackson and fix and, this. Yeah, and fix his hand. And That's what that does. Jackson Howard, last big premier tournament besides Slovakia. Oh, hopefully for sure. We see yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, the last one of the last tournaments in which Jackson Howard is going to give you this much. Mm -hmm. We're just going to be around. Mm -hmm. Our friend Jackson. Yeah, goodbye, Jackson. You did great work oh, while man. you were here. I'm so sad he's going. I know, I know. Uh, especially this uh, Craven promo Jackson from uh, <laughs> like last year. <laughs> real, real sketchy looking guy. Yeah. And it looks like Josh understands what's going to happen. And this is going to give a lot of information to Dean. He knows he probably s smells the blood in the water because yes. that's not an opening. Yeah, this that is not a good opening. Blue, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, that yeah, yeah. practically Blue licking his lips yeah. at like what he's about to do on his turn. Still no ice yet. Remember, eight oh, ice that in the deck. That was a bad draw from the Jackson. That's not as good. Well. I think we saw Jeeves there and some yeah. other really low trash asset. And the assembly lines might come down. That could threaten a siphon, I guess. Not really. Not Atomogy, really. Mostly. Not really. Yeah. But this is rough. This is rough. And that's just another install in a server. There's nothing really you have to deal with. He's going to actually go ahead and preemptively res that, just so he has to discard yep. less cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you actually want to discard more cards, or less cards, or fewer cards, excuse me. Um, because now the chance of hitting a... Oh, there, oh, you go. there it is. Okay, bang. He's down on two. Goodbye, your money. Goodbye, your money. Hello, two tags. Oh. Hello, medium. Hello, Amaku. Am uh, I yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I feel like there's no need to drop a resource on just yet. No. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go off from there. And you one. don't need to play those two sure gambles. You, you have certainly the money. do not. You have yeah. the money. You can yeah. put down the turtle, put down the medium, yeah. go. An unsure risk. Uh, we're going to check what those are. Might as well keep the tempo down. And the not the Jeeves. You might want to trash the. You well, can, the Jeeves, yeah. It helps I you think recover. so. Yeah, definitely. Even just a credit four turns are pretty strong. Does he, th he thinks about it. I don't know. But he does it. Do you want to trash the Jackson first or throw in the Jackson first? That's a question. That's a question. Now he actually yeah, might he's going to gamble off. And double gamble. So yeah. Josh has one turn, I think, here. Who would send a draw? He has one turn here to draw with the Jackson. Probably find an ice for R&D for HQ. Yeah, uh, Again, Jack, these... There's oh, moon that's there. Good. That's a yeah. good draw. We're going to give that shuffle the full random. Yep. And I actually like that a lot. Two, if you try and, try and find some uh, kind of reads off of the runner, yep. or off the corpse, sorry, yep. where they install their, their yeah, good stuff. Uh, a personal evolution, if you will. Yeah, yeah. right? Mm. The whole shell game. And uh, it looks like Josh is only on two credits, but the bit of Estelle, that's four more credits. That's mm -hmm. some money. And Dean might just be safe no, here. He's sniffing out. Looks like, oh, there's Aeneas an informant. with tags. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Come check what these are. Don't have to trash them. Second Jackson. Jackson. Josh, if he wants to pop that, he has to pop the other. Jackson yep. is unique, no, so that's stays. just one credit for Dean. I hope he remembers yeah. that. And CSM, that that's gone. doesn't have to go right away. So, yeah, he pays one. Okay. And As he should. Yep. You might want to go deal with Estelle. I think she's going to be popped. Might want to run a Q, uh, HQ after that. The, the chance of finding an agenda is pretty high. There's no daily business yeah, show on the table. Yeah. So that's going to be threatened. Oh, Dean playing very conservatively yeah. to start this game off. You know, we generally know G Dean as a very aggressive player. Slam yeah, the keyhole. For uh, sure. Click one siphon is a very, very <laughs> common Dean thing. Install fast siphon. Yeah. But, but uh, after be that, the... Full house of foods in there. Oh, gosh, that's really bad. Does have a vanilla. Does have the Jackson. And you notice that Josh isn't just like paddling out with the water like he's no he's holding on to the agendas yeah he's figuring out what he's going to be up to uh, he knows that losing jackson right now would basically lose him the game he needs to be able to fix his bad start and, he and has the uh, yeah he, he's on the way he, he's on the way and dean did throw out the uh the femme whether that means that he has a mongoose in hand mm -hmm. uh, or maybe it just means the amakua that does give some information on mm -hmm. how good that uh that excuse me that architect actually is power of moons readily apparent here josh Blasted it for two, and, and uh, yeah, he's flush. And we have some ice. Josh mm. actually might try and rush on this one. Uh, if he has that many agendas, I don't know if he has an alternate play here. Oh, that, that would be an interesting line to take for sure. He kind of, uh, both players, again, understanding what's up. Yeah. Um, and again, they know what's in the list. This yeah. is more like playing chess, where the pieces are all the same, mm -hmm. but it's all more about the strategy. Yes, for sure. Uh, that's always very exciting, and it looks like Jackson can be popped right away. Uh, it's also interesting with the threat of Polyp, whether or not Josh knows it. He knows at any point in time where Dean runs HQ, he has the technically the priority where he can install a Polyp and immediately and then, blow something yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, anything based up. That, that threatens Estelle, threatens very Jackson. It's very moon. strong play. Mm -hmm. So off this Jackson, we're getting 
think we saw Jeeves and Jeeves Anastel. and Anastel. I wasn't sure what the last card was. Probably in assembly lines. So or, seeing those cards come back, you also know that Josh is very unlikely to have a fo uh, friends in high places in the hand. Yes. Because those are two cards that you would generally want generally to keep. Generally want to keep, yep. That's true. Very interesting read there. Uh, okay, so there's Second Jackson. Jackson. Uh, yeah. That's going to be removed. Or not removed, trash. He's trash, yep. Pick and two. Uh, the board state that Josh has, not very good. And turtle. The, uh, Dean might just be going for singles here. Yeah, Get some turtle counters. Dean raising a squirtle of his own. He's trashing that for one. Assembly line, yeah. no, no turtle counter. <laughs> Third Jackson <laughs> is all full asses here, Josh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Josh has the option here. Now with the turtle rushing behind the... I think that's actually a... Excuse me, a, a vanilla on the remote. Mm -hmm. Doesn't uh, say there's a turtle anymore. Yep, yeah, sure. Turtle, turtle backs, turtle backs iced. Yeah, iced. Mm. And two yeah, installs. Taking a trip around the colder edges of the universe. <laughs> and again, we know we know that Dean is sitting there on the temperature. Dean is sitting on the medium. And it looks <sighs> Here like he's it on is. Strike. All right. Here we go. What's this up? Is it. And two, no temperature. No temperature. He doesn't need though. that yet. And yeah. single axis, that's start up. Startup. I think bye you need to get rid of that. Yeah. Medium goes deeper too. That's very good. As yeah. much as your squirrel. Yeah. Isn't Unfortunately, no turtles enough. and informants, but that's okay. This medium is digging deeper. This will help a lot. But of course, what Dean does not yet know. That's another assembly lines, and that is the first ice we've seen. That's a fair yeah. shot three, perfect for R and D. Eventually, mm -hmm. it's a liability with the uh, inversificator, but that's generally a time away. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some time away here. Architect, so, architect and right. enhanced locking protocol. So that's all the ice that all right, he yeah, needs. Yeah, yeah. So actually, Josh is getting fixed fairly soon. Josh um, is going to be okay with this. That was, was a good stabilization on his end. Uh, so, Super interesting too with the Nias because I think Dean would probably use the Nias. So all those cards that Josh uh, got hit through R&D, he knows they're not assets. Yep. So he needs knows it's either operations or ice coming up, and that should influence uh, how he's playing. Well, he because Dean could have it. Dean could have neglected. Oh, he must because you have to expose it with the Nias, ah, yes. so you know it's uh, yeah, yeah, okay. trashable. Mm -hmm. And Jackson on the table, that's going to draw into the ice that he needs. And he has a fair child. He also has the current. So if Dean doesn't have his counter current, you actually could in theory rush behind a uh, rush behind a fair child. Mm -hmm. It's a bit dicey, but it's technically a thing. And now Dean has to know, is that an architect? Is that a fair child? I think either way, you can't run until you no, have... No, you, you can't run until... Either three counters, yep. run first click, or five counters, be safe. But yes, either way, here, away. but yep, he's a bit off from that. Um, he doesn't have the Desperado for the nope. value run either, but uh, or the Masanori for that matter. Also super important to understand, is Josh going to remember that there's two tanks? Because <laughs> he is stabilizing, and trashing an Aeneas is really good if uh, uh, perhaps a Temujin comes down. Uh, I don't know whether Dean has the, the temple right now, the clear tanks, and it looks oh, like he is. He's so, remembered. Oh, wow, he's going to one, I guess. He understands that the game's only getting longer. Yeah. And I think it's fine here just oh, to run the remote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's actually clicking for credits. Yeah. I'd assume that you would want to probably run the remote, get some uh, turtle counters. Yeah. But he's actually just going to click up. And that's so. surprising, yeah, because he could have definitely run archives a couple times, uh, get get those turtle counters. There's a uh, chance he's playing around Cyberdex Fire Suite. Oh sure, yeah. But I mean, uh, I think you, I think he's still coming to archives anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, archives is even good. Yeah. And then even just having the turtle at three or five, yeah. it might provoke a purge. Maybe he's exactly trying to play right. around that. Exactly right. Yes. But yeah. Uh, two more cards down on the table. Uh, that's going to give you turtle backs value and ETF value with ability. And it looks like we're just throwing out something there into archives. So, uh, with only three credits and no economy, really. Uh, uh, preemptively using, oh, understanding that interdiction is a thing. I don't know if interdiction, well, his Jackson was res. I'm not sure actually. Oh, his Jackson yeah, does no, you're anything, right. But no, he might, doesn't do that at this point, yep. Might just want to shuffle R&D. Sure. So uh, it looks like things have stabilized. Josh yep. actually pulled back from that. Getting For sure. Yeah. Panic, uh, Josh is also very confident in his R&D ice because he's doing this when he knows that the medium would have uh, given... It's making this medium a bit better. Yeah. And I think Josh really wants to hit that side expire suite at some point. It gives yeah. him a full turn, mm -hmm. basically. It's just a single uh, on the list, yep. And yeah, indeed, it's it is last yeah. card on the list here. This deck is generally good at finding its singletons. And uh -huh. uh, that is the Byroy work crew. Yep. A card that you probably don't need to trash now. No, nope. he's going gonna, gonna to make his money and grow his turtle. He's checking the outermost. That is a tech startup, which I think needs to go. That should go. Yeah. That card represents every other card. Every other card. <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> Wonderful tutor. Around. It also gives so much value with uh, the, the turtle backs. It gives you a couple extra credits. A couple there. extra credits, yep. So we're just kind of taking shots at each other. Yeah. Building up that turtle, yeah, I think. feeling each other out. Nice little bit by bit here. Uh, neither player really careening out of control with regards to economy or board state. Uh, we're just kind of seeing the opening moves here. I'm pretty sure, actually, now that the turtle has three counters, well, hey, commentator's curse, it has been purged, but I think <laughs> Dean was setting up to run R&D, because uh -huh. now he's prepared to deal with an architect. Indeed. If you run first click, uh, I would trade six credits for a whole turn, because yep, Josh sure. doesn't have a lot of credits. Yeah, for sure that. Um, with that said, though, here, here Dean comes again. And there you go, he's now checking he's checking what it is. So now he's going to make the it. money, he's going to get the turtle. Because I'm pretty sure he did think that was a cyber deck, so mm. now once it's purged, he'll check that one. Yeah. 
Uh, these games are on the clock, Sean. Uh, we do have an hour. Uh, they're timed, I believe. Only Worlds may not be timed. I, I think, think so, Nationals yeah. are still timed. And yeah. there we have, that's a uh, full pay for the Earthrise Hotel. Those are the credits that Dean needs. He needs to get his Blue Moose online. Yep. He, he needs, needs to get some money. Yep. Exactly. He is also holding on to the Temujin. Eventually, he can just dump them to remote once he has a Desperado. Maybe he needs another Neos just to get more value from it. And there's a lot of gems in hand. I think there's foods, maybe two Vitruvias, two Vitruvii. <laughs> Vitruvi? VII? <laughs> uh, and uh, Josh is just trying to stabilize the board. I think two Jackson and out of the game is actually a relatively big deal. It's a huge deal, yeah. As good as this deck is at recursion, yeah, it's a strong card. And there's, there's, a a, there's a third copy. And he needs uh, to yep. find... I think Estelle is probably the best draw at this point. A suitable farewell to Mr. Dinosaurus himself. Yeah. So some agendas, that's another architect, and that's a good ice. Again, with three tokens, uh, th th the R&D could be coming in real relatively soon. Yeah. Yeah, the, the T1 check is definitely strong here. Um, he doesn't have the full money to break. Uh, no, he does. What yeah, you just need two. Yeah, you just need two. And it looks like a double ice. Uh, that yeah, actually yeah. might be double Makes architect. Sense. Yep, yep, yep. Um, it, it's good against Mongoose. Again, that kind of forces you to use the turtle at some point. And that's a, a turn that sometimes you can just purge yep. your way out of. Uh, we're going to Earthrise, pulling off two cards here. There's a hostage and a film critic. Largely not that useful. I think you might actually want a hostage, hostage for the Aaron Maron. Or Masanori. Both are oh, fine. Oh, Masanori. Yeah, Masanori is a great idea. But I think they're, uh, they've equalized relatively well. Running Jackson, that's the third Jackson out. So that's going to yep. put a bunch of assets back into the deck. Yep. Even but, uh, face checking now to dress an architect for four credits, it's mm. not bad. What are we gonna do when we have like Josh as cans and we don't have Jackson to save us from them? I have no idea. Hmm. So that's a film critic that he's drawn, which is not very useful. Not the best. Draw Again, here. Yeah. any bad card you put in your deck, maybe you go out your way, put bad cards in your deck, you throw them out for blue. Yeah, of no course, value, right? naturally, yeah. Um, and and overdraw and toss out. Probably a very good draw at this point. Yep. Uh, there's only one card I think that Dean might be hesitant about blue moosing and that's because he has run the same old thing so mm -hmm. events do get double value if he wants it to go that way mm -hmm. uh, you do have cards like account siphon which this act doesn't generally plan to recur but again no, account but siphon can keep you in the game yeah for sure and we're just gonna be clicking up uh probably running with that turtle get that big turtle so now you can actually click or credit your way through um uh a fair child 3.0 and that's Really good. Like yeah. that turtle got big fast. This that is the first game that we've seen turtle click one or turtle turn one. Turn yes, two. indeed. And when that comes down that early, then this turtle will continuously represent a threat, uh, especially in a deck where you have perfect information of the ice. Yes. Yeah, not a lot you have to worry about. And mm. it's just more cards coming through. That turtle back is getting so much value. Mm -hmm. The full turtle game. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think now all Dean's looking for uh, again a career fair would be good with that with that Temujin. Sure, totally, uh, yeah. Desperado would be absurd. Yep. And then we see, yeah, one credit. There you go for that interdiction. Not a lot of value. Uh, Dean running triple Desperado in his build. Yep. Yeah, I would there know. it is. Yeah, I would it's imagine no as much. Right? No, it's a good card. Might as well. Single access for one credit. We're gonna get rid of that uh, tech startup, and we're just gonna be systematically yeah. checking all of them because it's good tempo to do that. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye. So one more credit for that. Two for Josh. Good trade. And uh, probably just been clicking up, running that team sponsorship, getting more credits. And we gotta throw out oh, some no, cards. Oh no, we're gonna here. Earthrise as well. Yep. All right, going, going to zero. zero. So if you didn't tune in before, there was an early game where Dean went down to zero credits and then tried to set up with a blue moose and then blacklist kind of blacklist keeps you the game. kind of wrecked him. Absolutely brutal, and Dean is ducking down again. He understands that he does have a Temujin in hand. You need four credits to get that going. Does he actually have a Temujin in hand? Yeah, he does. He does. Um, a career fair would generally be good, and we're going to see six more cards coming off the top. So the chance of him finding it is actually relatively high. Mm -hmm. And Josh might be going for a remote push here. Uh, Dean does have a good breaker, but doesn't have credits to use it. So credit, 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 run. Still could get him through mostly everything. Picking two up, then Versificator and, and employee strike. strike. Nothing super useful at this current time. No, and uh, Josh is actually really lucky that Dean's not yeah, Dean having is, that good yeah, of a draw. There's a small stall, and like I mean, both of them have had mediocre draws. This is actually the inverse of the match we saw, where both of them had amazing yeah, draws. <laughs> really good. Draws. And now we're gonna be able to see how these players deal with not the best of luck in that runner. And it might actually just be credit for four. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, you could, Mega Evolution, that's a thing. In, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so this turtle is massive that's at the moment. Uh, it doesn't need to be that big, but for bookkeeping's sake, we're going to do it. Yeah, we'll keep track of it. Yeah, I wonder if he has enough virus counters. I think those are promotional, so maybe <laughs> not. Limited edition. Yeah. And Josh isn't having that strong of a draw. He doesn't have any more Jacksons to draw, and he doesn't have a Stell Moon to yeah, super draw. He doesn't yeah. have daily business show to, to, to sure, control the draw. To draw yeah. So running HQ actually has a lot of value. Mm -hmm. uh, he honestly doesn't have that many agendas in it, but uh, there's yeah. a lot of value. Looks like he's going for a score. 
That's a cheeky Vitruvius, or actually probably a beta test. We can't really tell. Uh, I can't tell. It's a full yeah. art. It could be either. Could um, be either yeah. And it's going to give him a free install either from hand or from archives. Yep, it's probably going to be from archives here. Just kind of the value of Clone Suffrage. Uh, uh, that's a Vitruvius. Another, yeah, another must trash. Uh, it's a Vitruvius, yeah. Um, and that is going to get a text startable on the table behind ice. And that's a card that you probably have to get because if you don't deal with that, that's first click in Estelle Moon. And then Josh is probably going to install two more. And then he's yeah, kind of rolling. And then, yeah, he's off to the races. Ah, oh, here's a blue moose. That's a moose. And here's a special order. Okay. So, and uh, it's unfortunate that he has to deal with it this turn, but. Yeah, there's uh, a Temu targeting Temu? which server? Maybe the sponsorship? I think that might be the case, yeah. I'm not actually sure. That's a safer is. server to hit up. Yeah. Now, you could also use the tech startup if you wanted to to install a trash bowl card on top mm -hmm. of the team sponsorship if yeah. you want to really shut that money down. For sure. Uh, but this is like click for five and a turtle token, which is good money. Yeah. He's uh, going to pull 15. Worth noting that he's probably not going to put in archives because there are no cards to access in archives. Oh, no. hey, blank archives. Mm. And it looks like he's just clicking up twice and then charging the remote because he understands with. He probably has more turtle tokens, but nobody cares at this point. Sure. And the Fairchild's only three credits to break. Good value. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's that startup. Goodbye. And mind you, Josh just spade six uh, credits yes. for a piece of ice that if he doesn't purge, mm. uh, Dean can deal with relatively yep. easily. Those Fairchilds. I guess they're fire type. These turtles are dealing with them pretty well. Yeah, a turtle eats that. Eats, eats, eats that uh, fair child relatively well. Mm. And Josh is still probably just some critic trucking along here. Okay, uh, he didn't install the blue moose this turn because he understood that he needed to get yeah. rid of that tech startup immediately. And uh, uh, smart choice, smart choice. I think if, as soon as you remove that pressure, where Josh doesn't feel comfortable that he can score in a remote. Yep. Uh, Josh can't just do his own thing because Josh is not doing the sort of. Um, yep. uh, uh, so if I'm not do. mistaken, uh, he's at two points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Josh should be at two. Yeah, yep, perfect. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just oh, hey, there, there. Thanks a lot. Yep. So, what does Josh want to do here? Do you think you need to block that Temujin? I think it's probably good. That's a five credit uh, per click. Yep. Um, and that's relatively good. Josh only, or sorry, Dean only has six credits to his name. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to read Amakua anytime soon. No, we don't know what that card does anymore. Nope. Absolutely covered. You might want to go for the tower. <laughs> but it looks like Josh is just slowly drawn up, and he did finally find an Estelle. Whether you want to put that into the Ramon, and just have even, if Dean runs through that, pace three to break, pace three to trash Estelle, that's honestly not terrible. Yeah, that's a good tempo hit for him. And if we have friends, which again is useless, no cards in archives, uh -huh. uh, get some value and get some more cards. Oh, actually, he did have cards in archives. They're just kind of out of frame. So there you go. He did replace the team sponsorship by putting the advanced assembly lines there. So <laughs> fancy, now fancy, uh, yeah. that's the fancy footwork. Uh -huh. uh, that is going to stop the f 10. That robs, what, 10 credits off of Temujin. Yeah. That's huge. That's big. Uh, and Dean didn't have, just couldn't get enough money off of it. Nope. Actually, this is the prime time to play, uh, uh, Finally, funny enough, Interdiction. Yes. This is an Interdiction Indeed. play. This is an interdiction, interdiction They play. can't res it, run it yeah. a couple times. We'll see if he draws it off the Earthrise here. I think he threw out one already. understood, yeah. Okay. Okay. So two coming off of the Earthrise. Uh, Dean still has some pretty real threats here. He has a big Amakua. He doesn't have a lot of money, but he does have a giant turtle. Yeah, that was very well played on Josh's end. Uh, Dean is now poor. He has that big turtle, but uh, he still needs to pay a credit per subroutine here. Yeah, and that's a new remote technically. It looks yep. like it's in the same spot, but that's nope. just kind of because yep. we have a little bit That is not the marked curve. Yep. And that Estelle Moon's also going to counter. So Dean is at a four carry. Does he deal with Estelle? If he doesn't, he knows it's probably going to get two, three more counters next turn. Mm -hmm. Especially if there's a friends in hand, even four counters is not unreasonable. No. Um, he could always swing R&D. That makes the purge better. But the chance of him finding agendas, it's it's honestly, there's probably agendas in HQ. He knows that. I think Dean's very good at finding out where the agendas yep. are. Yeah, at this point, it's a reasonable sniff for him to make. Um, I, oh, he had the interdiction. Oh, he, he had, had the play. Yeah, yeah. that's great. <laughs> Josh playing around that very well. Understanding 100%. There it is. Okay. So. So interdiction being played. I'm not actually sure why. Sure. Uh, make sure that he isn't able to res things on his turn. Yeah. So he can actually trash some of these cards. Uh, I guess it's also there. removing some value off an advanced assembly line. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he can stop the assembly lines. It takes out two credits. So I guess that's kind of even. Yeah. Uh, actually, you won't be able to have the free install as well, which is pretty sweet. Yep. yep. Firework Crew is the card in the remote that we don't know of. Okay. Uh, not a lot of value to do that now. Mm -hmm. And I think he just probably needs to get some money. Get some money up. Because this is going to be more of a grind of a game. It looks like no one's flying ahead of everyone. No one's nope. drawing the exact cards they need. Yep. They're kind of just playing with what they have, which again is so far different than the perfect draw than that the we've perfect seen draw in the last, that we saw last games. game. Exactly. All right. So paying. Oh. Huh? We're just checking what these are. I see. I uh, know, it's just swapping out credits, too. Yeah. So only four credits. 
So he's going through that. He's playing all the money just to be able to trash, uh, get rid of that um, Estelle Moon. Yep, makes sense to me. And tech startups still can fire. There's still a window on your turn where before the start of turn triggers, you can res this card. And, yep, uh, and that's what he's doing through do the introduction, much. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. It, I wish it did a bit more yeah, in this matchup. Yeah, you really do wish yeah. it did a bit more. And that's yeah. why the uh, friend's coming back. And Preventing uh, beginning of turn triggers would have been big game for it, for sure. But really alas, you've got that window. Yeah. So friends came back. If there's another Estelle, uh, that's going to be a big deal. But it looks like we're going to be installing the Jeeves with uh, Tech Startup, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, that was the uh, Advanced Assembly Lines, I think. Uh, no, I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a Jeeves on the table res, and that's a big deal, because if he wants to do install, 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 he can at last click uh, hit up that Friends in High Places, get yep. that extra click back. Get some more, especially if it has a moon. This is one of like the signature plays of this deck. Yeah. Also, uh, Jeeves makes purging kind of more palatable, yep. where you can purge and then and friends do something. on a turn. Yep. It's a still pretty strong turn. You're doing uh, yeah, a it's lot. a great turn, actually. Also, you can purge and play that current. That current stumps you from getting through that fair child, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty valuable. There's so the Jesus, Jesus coming along. Yeah, Jesus coming up. And there's the purge yep, and the friends, purging. I think, is the play. Yep. So two cards coming back. Estelle could go back into that server, and now uh, Dean can only get through that by <laughs> spending his whole turn. This is tough times for Dean. Man, Fairchild, what a good card. And if he does do that, he can't deal with a tech startup, which means another uh, Estelle. But it looks like we're actually not doing Estelle. We're installing it to new remotes. That gets more credits with yep. the Turtlebacks. With Turtlebacks. Uh, ultimately, credit neutral given the prior circumstances of the turn. Yep. Uh, but he does have two very nice must deal with remotes on the table. So the one. being rest, yep. and he's, I think he's pre resing it. Hopefully, he remembered because otherwise, the interdiction does goof him up. Yep. And he's going to be able to just walk away from that. I don't even know if he trashes that because this is basically his magnum opus. Click, yep. Double Aeneas. Pretty much. Again, three of, uh, three of Desperado did not find that in the mulligan or yep. so far, I think he threw a third of his deck. And we're just going to get some money. He might actually want to deal with that tech startup. That's generally a bigger problem than assembly lines. Uh-huh. Oh, he's going to gonna deal yeah, with the suffrage for sure. The suffrage makes more sense. And then the assembly lines. So just and then we'll pass turn. Cleaning up. Mm -hmm. And I think Josh is sitting comfortably on 12 credits. That's largely what you need. And I think with a single biotic, can you score it a food? No, what can you score it a 4-2 with, uh, with a biotic? With a biotic and Jeeves. And, oh, no, no, he actually scored food out of hand. Yeah. Because he has a biotic, the Jeeves, and the Oh, yeah, the and the work crew. Yeah. And he has that food. It's been sitting in hand for a while. He is, it's very hard for him to get rid of it, considering there's no more Jacksons. Mm -hmm. And you can see that's Josh Wilson. Like, he kept on to a food yeah, for the entire yeah, game. Persistent. A lot of people would have just got rid of that. And Assembly Line's going to play. Uh, get a card on the table. Mm -hmm. Get some credits. Whether he's doing that, probably on Dean's turn. I don't know. And that's in the yeah, style. That's in style. Looks like he's not looking to score, probably. Just trying to get more cards in hand, more credits. Yeah. Uh, he, he would have to be doing it at the beginning of his turn to get that credit, yeah? Uh, or to be able to do it legit. Oh, because of the yeah, interdiction. Yep. It does throw a, a spanner into some mm. of the plans. Uh, not as bad as not we initially bad. made it out to be, because it is kind of cutting into his econ a bit. Like yep. those incidental one and two credit swings. Well, there you uh, go. Point of loot. The there eyes up. Go. So that's gone. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he's, is he playing three operations this turn? I don't think he's getting his Jeeves credit, but it looks like Friends actually coming out there last click. So two cards are coming back. And again, every turn, stuff's coming back. You have to deal with it. Or choose not to deal with it, and hopefully things don't get out of control. And he saw last game, not dealing with it almost worked. Yeah, almost. It almost worked. Almost, yeah. As long as you have a board state, you may yeah, not have to deal with control. Yeah, just dig, 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 dig. And there you go, two counters on that card. Uh, you want to run it so that it gets popped. Again, no daily business show again, so I think running HQ has a lot of value. Kept popping in. And it's harder for him to run. Mm -hmm. Again, a lot of these lists did cut out uh, Dirty Laundry. Dirty card, Laundry, yeah. It's generally been super good with Aeneas. Again, Excellent. These currents, but, yes. Uh, slots are very tight. Yes, they are. Oh, I think Josh is actually on two points right now. Mm -hmm. oh. I, yeah. Yeah. The last click didn't take. So, um, uh, yeah. just getting some turtles. Trashing some stuff, getting some money with Aeneas. Mm -hmm. I think we actually have a Temujin somewhere, or is that just, oh, they pulled it back because we lost the server. Okay, so that's been there for a while. Um, and Dean's just holding on. And that's the threat with the Turtles, is that you actually get some pretty good positive tempo by just holding on. Just uh, by holding on. Exactly that, right? Like he's actually threatening every single every server. Every single server at this just point. Just by barely holding Just by on. having that turtle in front of him. Yeah, and that's um, a super powerful yeah. card. And that, that was the decider of that game we saw against Eric earlier, where he had the best defense speed peddler, killed the turtle. Yeah, the turtle. Well, Such a big deal. It is a huge deal. One of the best icebreakers we've seen in a little while. If I'm not mistaken, Josh is actually holding on to maybe three agendas. Mm -hmm. I think we see two golden foods in there, mm -hmm. uh, one Vitruvius. And he has the ability to score out any of these, and he's not. He might he's, actually he's, be yeah. now. 
Okay. Uh, that's going to give him a stealth counter. Maybe this is exactly what he needs. Oh, he's actually popping a stealth. Oh, a stealth? Yeah, okay. Um, overdrawing a little bit, though? That might be dicey. Yeah. I don't know exactly Does Dean have a, any sort of... Oh, yeah, he has the one, one leg, leg work. work. Yeah. And hard. that leg work, if he fired at any point in the game earlier, would have actually got him? Maybe two, four, six yeah. points? Yeah, four, six points. So make sure, uh, we know that Josh is running Vitruvius in beta test, right? So he's not running a field test. This isn't like a field test dig. We're not mm -hmm. going deep on the field test. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what he's exactly drawing for. Maybe there's a chance he just doesn't want the moons to get too big because mm -hmm. he knows he's going to be drawing or installing more cards in the near future. Yeah, for sure. He also has uh, assembly lines. Oh, okay. Another ice on in. Uh, wow. So we're, yeah, we're seeing Josh like really, really hunker down here. Uh, as befitting a turtle mirror, um, he's kind of glaciering, which is weird for this deck. I think, uh, if we're not mistaken, that might be the third or fourth turn where we've seen last click, uh, friends. <laughs> the recursion keeps recurring itself. It yeah. keeps coming back in every it's kinda, turn. Yeah, it's a clone this, suffrage uh, movement. This uh, closed loop here between uh, clone suffrage movement and friends yep. in high places. Remove for game or bust. Uh, please. And we're just going to be finding out what these are. Getting Aeneas counters, getting a turtle up to speed. And uh, this is probably a good turn that actually the legwork would come in and it would be value. But it looks like uh, Dean hasn't been drawing cards for the last three or four turns. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep yep. going. Popping in. That's a magnum opus. Seeing cards, trashing yep. that. Clone yep. Suffer's movement not coming back. Hopefully that'll be the Hopefully last friends. Hopefully that'll be the last. But who we'll knows? see. There's three Jacksons gone. That's the last friends. Uh, maybe, but I mean, this DBS might dig them to another one. There's actually a big chance that in that remote behind the Fairchild is a Vitruvius or an Agenda, and Josh put that there on the same turn they installed all those other must trash ah, cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a really good fork. Do you want to give nice. up on the friends recursion, or do you want to give up on one Agenda? Yep. Uh, perhaps it isn't, perhaps it's something else, but I think that actually would go through at this point. Yep, um, this is a really, really good play on his end. And I think Josh just drew into a blacklist with no blue moose on the table, not a lot of value. And Dean also, I think he's holding on to a blue moose in hand. Yeah, yes. I don't think he has had the time to put that thing down, yeah. because again, every turn has been to be something to, Exactly, yes. I think Josh is feeling very comfortable here, coming back from an absolutely brutal opening. Mm. Dean would love to have a Desperado at this point. Oh, the Desperado would have been such a big difference mm. coming in. That's credits that even when you trash things, and that's such a huge difference, because Aeneas, if you don't trash... Yeah, you don't get anything. And uh, looks like we're going to put an agenda score here. That's a Byroid Roy Crew, so if you play an Operation, you can install a card. So Biotic gets your agenda installed for free. I'm pretty sure that's a Biotic for four. So you gotta trash that, install a card, and so much things are so many things are firing here. You have your turtle banks, you have your Estelle Moon, and it just gets out of control really fast. Yep, you have to be a very experienced player to understand that you have about four or five things to resolve between clicks. A lot of triggers. Yep. So one card was installed. If I'm not mistaken, he has about five clicks left. Yes, he does. There's the GFI. So you can advance four times and then get the Gs advance the fifth times. So we are now zero to five. This is game point. A single yep. Biotic closes the game. Biotic labor into uh, the Vitruvius, which I think is in hand. Dean might actually just have one more turn. Yeah. And if yeah. that's the case, Josh can take this Nationals. And I think Dean senses it. He's just going HQ. needs to find that yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. Poking it out. And it's oh, not it's expensive. It's not expensive. And uh, that it's a fair child. It's a fair child. He can click yeah, through it. He pays he can three. Pay three. Or he can't click through it, actually, yeah. because of the current. Because of the current. Yeah. Next up, we've got... What do you have to res there? Could just be a vanilla. Could be an architect. We've seen two fair childs. Not likely to be the third fair child. And I think if Josh reses it, he's out of the money for a long time. Oh, there's and an architect. Sweet old architect. Phase two. Down on two credits. So I think Dean just bought himself some time. Yep. And he's in, right? Single access. Let's have a peek. Oh, he's actually oh. firing off. That'll get you a bit of card draw. Yeah, nice. Uh, increase the density a little yep. bit. It also yeah. fires uh, daily business show, so yep. you can choose what you're coming back in. It's unlikely that you'll be drawing an agenda from yep. this. Yep. And at least uh, Dean understands that aggression stops Josh from winning because he needs what? Actually, no, he only needs about five cards to score next turn. Hmm? That's not a lot of money. It is not. That Jeeves on the table is so strong. Single access adds uh, a blacklist. Black unfortunately. That's going to give Dean some credits. Yeah. He won't, yeah, he's going to get it, but he won't have enough. He needs five to run that server. And he does still have, actually, if he has three credits, I think Josh can win this turn. Because he does have the assembly lines, he can install a card, gain two credits. Yes. Oh, there's one Single ABT. Single off the top, that's an ABT. Uh, no, actually from Heap, or from Archives. Oh, that's from Archives? No, I think, uh, no, it was no from it's from R&D. Oh, yeah, yeah it's R&D. Yes, you're right, you're right. So uh, he knows he's not going to draw something, I guess, if he runs, but I think Josh actually closes the next turn. Yeah, one, two, three. This is his last click. He's going to check the remote. He's going to pay three. Is it the Vitruvius? What's been in that remote? There's been something in there for a long time. And it it's the Vitruvius. Vitruvius. Dean probably Hot feels really good about that, but I don't Dean. think he has it. It Hot depends how many credits are on that stack. Yeah. If it's, I think if it's three, Josh has it. Mm -hmm. 
So first of all, we'll resolve a DBS. Okay, he doesn't have it because he did not use the assembly lines on his turn. I think he doesn't have enough credits based only on that, that he didn't use his ability on his turn. I think there was a chance he had it. Hmm. That was a good rip on Dean's end. He what sniffed, he he sniffed, sniffed it. it. And he knows, Josh knows, he's on two or three credits, that yeah. if he doesn't close off R&D, he might actually he lose. Might, mm -hmm. That was an excellent play. Super happy to see it. All right, so we have no Estelle, no mm -hmm. heavy card draw. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of clicks. So if Josh just wants to draw three times, maybe that's amazing. Not I amazing. think that's pragmatic. He's got a food in hand there. He doesn't want to end the game with a food, but he will if he needs to. Uh, you can always click for three, get the, those credits back, uh, or get that click back from your pad campaign friend, sort of, uh, I guess. Sorry, what's that? Thyroid? Sorry? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, hmm. The stream would yeah, it would definitely like flat out. Yep. All right. This is gonna be interesting. I think we have an Estelle in hand. I think Josh might be holding an Estelle right there in his right hand. Yeah, he's got the food up too. Do you need to uh, to pluck two more agendas in order to take this game? Yeah. Yeah. There's no uh, nothing like uh, mad dash. No mad dash. No, no uh, notoriety. No notoriety. We no, have to find uh, those two agendas. Yeah. And no daily clones are not people. Firing. Or clones are people. Yeah. And we have a card behind it. And a purge, that's what you can do. Yeah, that's what you can do. That's what this, our Byroid here buys you, that ability. Yeah. I, and I think he can spend his whole turn clicking through it. And there he it did. Is. And Josh basically turned an entire turn. Uh, bought himself an entire turn. Mm. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he has it. Like, I think if he fires this uh, assembly lines, he has the money to biotic out. Maybe he doesn't have a biotic in hand. It doesn't seem like it. And I, those, uh... His assets have been pruned pretty card. extensively by Dean, yeah. so I don't know if he has a line here. He's got a he's got a cyber deck. I love that. Josh puts a card down. Dean, are you gonna check it? Are you gonna check it? And Dean yeah. calls him on it. Yeah. He also did turn the current off, super valuable by top decking, or also he got yeah. two agendas that turn for sure. And uh, as long as Josh has four credits, I don't think Dean can run R and D until yeah. he has three turtle counters. Yes, indeed. Uh, and actually, this yes. cyber deck is gonna get him real hard. He has a CVS. Yeah. That can be a really big play. Yeah. If he's relying on the turtle to break, and uh, that's an opportune yep. CVS res, uh, he might actually give Josh the install he needs in order to win the game. So Dean can, or uh, sorry, Josh can put that in a server and have Dean spend his whole turn running it, mm -hmm. which he might, he might want to check his cards. Or Josh can hold that, protect it even, and then res that and when Dean thinks he's going to break an architect or even a third child yep, and yep, really yep. ruin him. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, he have another click because that was a triple install. And with one click left. Just clicking for credit. Okay. That is your pad campaign, and we're gonna check all these out. And he finds a cyber deck. Very speak. nice. Good find. Luckily, that he good finds find. Good find right now. You get rid of it right away. So, I think. Yeah, you might want to get rid of that for one. Yeah. Uh, you could always come back, gain two credits basically, but you want to check the other card as well. I, I think, think you might so. have to trash yeah. that. And again, with six credits, I think yeah. Dean understands that if Josh finds an Solid agenda, sift. if Josh finds a yeah. biotic, it's, it's gonna be a problem. blacklist. That's fine for him. That's he's fine. gonna leave it go. He's got He's already put the counter on the turtle. Dean has <laughs> given up on Moose a while ago. Yep. A card that would actually have given him eight to ten credits by now. Big game. Easily. Yep. But he understands blacklist is on the table. And last game that he invested heavily into that blue Moose, it, it, it did really not pay backfired him. on him. Yep. Dean is really thinking. Yeah, he's in the tank. This is climactic. He's in the tank. And now he knows with the cyber decks in the archives, he can run archives to charge his uh, Amakua. Not a really big deal considering there are a lot of open remotes, but yeah, in but some matchups that is meaningful. Mm -hmm. And he has to count. He has to count biotics. He has to count mostly biotics at this point. Mostly biotics at this point. And he did, luckily, there are still only three two pointers in the game. Only right. three two pointers. Having, in the having game. a gander again, counting. This is one biotic there. Ooh. That's it. Still, yeah, I'm sure. And I think Two, all the three friends, friends are in there, yeah. Okay. But only one biotic. So yeah. Dean knows he has to bring him down underneath four credits. He's trashing the assembly line because that assembly line represents two, three more burst credits. Good run, good run. Uh, and that probably is all of me. Just charge that, charge that turtle. Still getting fired. He's gonna be drawing a lot. Going to be seeing extra cards of daily business show, putting things on the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think Josh has a biotic in hand. It uh, there oh, go. there it is. Good game.